Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place, the Binding of Azga Binding of Azic. That's uh, something completely different. Uh, I don't know if I can bring myself to do another uh, Mega Satan Lilith run right now. Why don't we try like Mega Satan Samson? The thing with the Mega Satan runs, I want to knock him out because you never know if you're actually going to be able to do it on a C. DTK03 PSB. Um, Samson's a great character. What? Samson's a great character to be using here. Um, and with that, uh, body pickup, we certainly got a lot of, like, latitude to, whoa, okay. I'm very glad I didn't pick up the body before I came into this room, I'll tell you that much. But, um, we want this. We'll leave. We'll live. We'll pick up the body. And actually now we've got even more HP than we started with N9 lives. That's basically just a happy accident there, but, um, lucky us, I guess. Uh, I was gonna say that with the uh, Mega Satan runs, you never know if it's even gonna be possible for you to get the the entirety of the key piece. I don't think we've had a Mega Satan run yet where I've gotten Dad's key, but it's not like I've really actively been looking for it. I mean, uh, it, it can happen. If it happened, I would love it, because that would mean I could take deals with the devil and just, you know, I wouldn't say steamroll, but probably have a better chance to steamroll. Um, we're making, I think we're making pretty good progress in Afterbirth, honestly. We're never going to be like a Cobalt Streak who plays 14 hours for the first, or 14 hours a day for like the first uh, two weeks, right? And I don't mean that as a disrespect to, to Cobalt at all. It's just different uh, strokes for different folks. I'm, I'm a long-term, slow simmering, uh, you know, uh, beef bouillabaisse or something like that. Cobalt is like a, a buffalo wing, you know? He comes in hard and fast and saucy. I'm more of a slow simmering, you know, uh, chicken stock or something like that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, this is actually, uh, wasn't really what I was hoping for there. Um, but assuming we live, this is a pretty okay spacebar item for, for us right off the bat. Oh, so just fuck me, I guess, right? Like, we, <laughs> we should still do fine here. But, like, that horse just completely hemmed us in. That is actually embarrassing, but also kind of hilarious. And again, the first floor doesn't matter that much, as long as we can get things going on future floors. Uh, but I'd, I'd prefer, if possible, to not die. That would be for the best. Puberty, not so bad. One makes you larger, much worse. Uh, what do you think about a second secret room? Probably a second secret room is a good good idea for us here. I think we're fine, by the way. Like, it might seem like, oh, NL's fucked. He's only got one HP, but, like, this is still the best of all possible worlds, except for the world in which I don't take so much stupid damage on that boss fight. Um, because we would have been at one HP anyway if we had just picked up the body before picking up nine lives. So I'm still pretty pleased with the way that this run looks. I just wish that I hadn't taken so much damage on that pony fight, but at the same time, they came in pretty hard there. That is great. That is great. It would be a great time to get Petrified Poop as well. Two red hearts are nice, though, but we really do want to give ourselves a deal with the devil here so that we can ignore it. Um, what's nice about this is we actually don't need the, um, we don't need the darkroom kill. So we can actually go to the, the chest, which gives us one extra, uh, opportunity to possibly get, uh, Dad's key, even though it's super unlikely. Moreover, it just means that I can finally go back to the chest after, you know, going to the darkroom on, like, every single run recently. Which I get that it's rich for me to complain about variety when I went to the chest, like, 85 times in a row or something, but still. Oh, come on. A single spirit art would have been nice, is all I'm going to say about that. Um, still feeling pretty okay. Much better now, obviously. We're, we're almost certainly not going to die on this floor. Um, we could fuck up our deal with the devil chance. I don't think that actually fucks up our deal with the angel chance, but um, it, it would be nice to at least see what's in the deal with the devil so we know for the future. It would also be nice to get a key so maybe we could actually consider doing our um, item room. Kind of consider that like a pivotal part of any run, but uh, I, I guess that's up to you, game. It's, it's your choice in the end. To some extent, at least. I don't think Poop can ever drop a key, but... Ooh, that could. And did. World card allows us to find a secret room, which means that I don't think it's actually worth using right now. Black Bean? All that for Black Bean? It's the worst, man. You like... Scrounge and scrounge and scrounge. Oh, if I could just get a key, I could feed my family. And then you get Black Bean, and you're like, what's the point, man? What's the point? War never changes. Ooh. Kind of regret coming to this room. But we should be able to kite them decently enough. Yeah, that's fine. We got a bomb, which is good because there is a tinted rock. Oh, small rock, spirit heart. Any combination thereof, I'll be okay with. 
No comment. Uh, was there another tinted rock? Maybe not. Okay, let's just finish this off. Little horn. We'll just hit him right off the bat. You know what? I know! <laughs> I was just about to say that I know that um, Little Horn, you know, can hurt us and we need to prioritize him, but I'm gonna handle that orange fire up there. Then we got hit by it. Oh, man. Little lame. Again, I don't think that affects our deal with the angel because we're not gonna get a deal with the devil. Like, we're not gonna take the item either way, but it might affect our deal with the angel chances, in which case I feel pretty darn silly about it. Oh, good. We farted on our... on the shots that he fired at me. Incredible. Just hit yourself with the bomb, please, thank you. That always happens. Might as well take our HP. Um, head down to the next floor, I suppose. I'm not thrilled with our, our situation right now, but if we want to get super technical, we haven't missed out on anything. But we do need to do our damnedest to get a deal with the uh, angel on this floor. Let's try for some lucky pills. Oh... <laughs> Considering how lucky this run has actually been, and it's been pretty lucky, uh, I'm surprised at how unlucky we've been in certain elements as well. I mean, the damage against uh, the orange fire, that's my own fault. I can't i can't fault the game for that, but... Just a, a lot of, like, half-decent, half-skill, half-luck uh, situations stacked up in quick succession, making me feel not so great about my performance thus far. Also, we did almost die on the fight against the pony, or the, the Headless Horseman to give, give us the pony. Which is a little embarrassing, but we were also in a tight room, and that horse, you gotta admit, it's some of the greatest AI I've ever seen on the, on the Headless Horseman fight. Got us completely trapped in, that's like Pestilence AI. We almost got hit there. I mean, the problem is that because we don't have deal with the Devil Precedent, or, you know, even further to that point, Goathead, um, we have to try to get the deals with the devil, or deals with the angel in this case, which unfortunately means, might as well take Child's Leash, uh, unfortunately means that, uh, I, I can't really use Bloody Lust, like, Bloody Lust can't really do too much for us as a result. Um, these Fat Bat Tomo Flies are so tanky. So we're stuck with our base damage, and we haven't, oh my fucking god, I dodged right into it. We haven't at all improved our, uh, our base damage at all. I guess that's why it's called base damage. Hematemesis. Sounds like a... It's like ashes in my mouth when I say it now. Even though that's the proper pronunciation. Key? No key. Help down. Oh, that's a classic. Um, we don't even want it because we're not going to be doing deals with the devil. For a while, at least. Uh, extra bombs. These are good. Extra money, maybe, from this guy. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. To be honest with you, I think we should probably go to our curse room... And try to, you know, swing something there. Maybe we can get a guppy transformation without ever seeing a deal with the devil. That's like what I'm banking on right now. Not that we're even in that poor of a position, but... I don't know what it is, man. Like, I'm, I'm in a little bit of a weird Isaac slump. Where, like, I perform pretty well on the dailies consistently. Usually when I make a mistake on the daily and rank poorly, it's because I, like, chose to reroll my whole run. Which is a mistake that I'm, like, very okay with. I haven't died on a daily in, like, two and a half weeks or something. But, um... I, uh, I haven't been able to string together, like, a very solid, well, Lilith hard mode run in particular, but, like, I'd also love to just see, uh, like, any hard mode run come together, not fall apart. But this one's not done yet. I mean, we still have so much HP, but HP is not my preferred attribute. We actually got a key from here. If only I'd known that there were spirit arts in here in advance, but you can't take that chance every time. See what our mini boss is. Pride. Uh, Anarchist Cookbook. Obviously not very interested. Maybe we should have uh, played the the spikes on that curse room a little bit more to get our uh, our bloody lust bonus up as high as possible. Ooh, almost got hit there. Lover's card is not worth too much. Perthra was worth way more. Way, way more. Gotta save some bombs as well for the angel statue. That is not something I'm looking forward to, but... I would love to just have the chance to get it. Rotten Baby is like a, you know, the poor man's guppy. Let's start to string together a good run here. We got something going on now. Samson got it going on. Ladies get to know your sexuality when they get to know your personality. Oh, now we get a golden key. Not that it's bad. Oh, sack boy. Yes, I will, I will just fuck the shit out of our donation machine in like the gentlest way possible for this item because it's so strong and then it would be awesome to also get oh two cards hanged man we don't need empress is okay um i guess we'll save perthrow just in case but uh i would love to get the uh 
the potential Joker card there as well, but we gotta save our bomb for the Angel Statue first. Then we can go in and be like, all right, it's Joker time. Please. Thank you. Um, second secret room possibly, but again, we can't afford to use our bomb there. Mega Fatty is a super annoying boss fight. I'm happy I saved the Pony's active effect for this, but at the same time, it's not gonna matter. Like, it's, it's gonna affect Mega Fatty's HP like zero. As you can see right there. But we are halfway through it. We might get extraordinarily lucky and actually be able to get a, uh, a deal with the Angel. We have a bomb. We have okay damage. Hopefully we'll have even better damage after this. We can re-roll whatever the Angel statue is if it's super shitty. Or not the Angel statue, but the, the Angel item. Or if there is even an item to re-roll, I guess, is another point to be made there. Thank God we got Rotten Baby, man. That is like a huge damage upgrade for us. Matchbook, deal with the devil. Okay, well, we can take Matchbook. Maybe we'll fight Krampus. Not Krampus. It's a good item. We can't take it. We gotta get the Angel Statues. So far, this is not looking like it's gonna do it. <laughs> but it's possible. Oh, Sackboy hooking me up so hard with these sacks on the donation machine. There we go. What do you got? Two of clubs. There's some irony there. I think we take Perthro. Just head down. Somehow we're still ahead of the curve for boss rush. We've now skipped a deal with the devil, which means we could get deals with the angel, hopefully sooner rather than later. Can't go into that room yet. Possibly in the future. For now, let's just let Rotten Baby and Sackboy carry you as much as they conceivably can. Rotten Babies, it's it's trying, man. There we go. We gotta get a few down to the uh down to the ooze state before we'll actually be able to kill any. That's just, you know, low damage par for the course on Eyeless Ooze, guys. A battery charge we can actually use. Although, at this point, I will say that I'm looking like, you know, if the pony wants to maybe be traded, we could, we could trade it. We could work out something. Don't let it go to free agency for free. At this point, we can probably use consumables for everything as well. Because we'd be expecting, you know, with all the sacks available, we're going to be able to get enough uh, to cover whatever we're missing. Ansu's rune is nice. Perthrow rune. Temperance card. You know what? Why not, right? Get the Bloody Lust bonus. We can get IV Bag, maybe. Give me some sacks, though. Give me some sacks. You want to give me some sacks? Don't answer that. Um, we got another sack here. Lovers. Oh, it's perfect. I keep forgetting we're not on a daily, so I can totally play this Blood Bank and not even have to deal with the semi-complicated arithmetic I'm not familiar with. Well, we didn't get the IV Bag, but it was well worth it. We got a ton of money. We got a sun card, we got a world card. We still want to stick with our Perthrow rune. Unfortunately, I should have gone to our boss trap room before doing any of that, but hey. What's done is done. We got a huge damage bonus for this floor, and uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot better about the way that this run looks. Come on, more guppy items. Complete the guppy transformation without me needing to step foot in a deal with the devil. Okay. We are going to get our first key piece. And this technically does not count as a deal with the devil. So I am like super okay to possibly get one on the next floor as well and complete this uh, key piece and be well on the way to an actually half decent Mega Satan run. Now if only I could somehow pivot this one over to Lilith. I don't really want relax. Don't do it when you wanna go to it. You guys excited for Zoolander 2? I don't know. <laughs> I ran out of conversational threads and was like, Frankie goes to Hollywood Zoolander 2. I thought the trailer looked okay, even though it had the same thing with every other trailer where you're like, man, I wish they didn't spoil that huge reveal that would have been really funny in theaters. But I gotta admit, for whatever reason, even though not all of his movies have been awesome, but some of them have been sweet, like Tropic Thunder. I really like Ben Stiller. I... Yeah, sure, I think that was okay. Uh, I really like Ben Stiller. I find him an affable gentleman, uh, a good writer with a, a keen eye for comedy, as, as showcased in Tropic Thunder, which I think may actually be his best movie. Um, Trinity Shield was an okay pickup as well. But um, I guess what everyone's excited for right now is Star Wars. I keep trolling Mathis. I'm not going to spoil anything for Star Wars. I don't know any spoilers. So if you're going to get mad at me, ooh, and I'll spoil it. I don't know anything, okay? Um, but Mathis will be like, Yo, dude, I'm so excited for Star Wars. And I'll be like, Mathis. And he'll be like, what? And I'll be like, Kylo Ren is Yoda's daughter. And he's like, shut up, dude. No, she's not. And no, he's not. And I'm like, Captain Captain Phasma is Darth Vader. It's a clone of Darth Vader from the Vader Wars. Dude, you don't know what you're talking about. It's, he doesn't actually say, Mathis doesn't actually sound like that, but I'm going to make him sound like that for the purposes of this joke. 
Yo, I'm probably wrong, but what if I'm right? Kylo Ren is Chewbacca and Han Solo's son. With each other. There's nothing wrong with that. You got a problem with that? It sounds like you're the one with a problem with that, honestly. Well, head down to the next floor. We've done okay here. A lot of people are, are very negative about Star Wars, and I understand why. You know, I... Uh, I'm, I'm in this weird age, which is not really, it's weird, you know, there's like billions of people that are the, the similar age to me. Um, but I'm in this weird age, weird age where I didn't really grow up with the originals, although I did watch them when I was younger, you know, episodes four through six. Uh, but I also didn't grow up with the prequels, like I was old enough after at least The Phantom Menace, where when I watched Attack of the Clones, I was like 14, 15, something like that, and I was like, this is bad. Like, this is just not very good. And I know it's a little... Uh, you know what? Let's pop this and then two of hearts and maybe we'll get our money's worth here. Um, I know that the prequels get a lot of circle jerky type hate, but Attack of the Clones I still think is the worst of the original trilogy, including Phantom Menace. But anyway, this is it's getting circle jerky again. A little, like, second order circle jerk. Um, so I'm really hoping that these ones are great. Uh, so that's why I can't be cynical when people were like, I'm not excited for Star Wars at all. You know, the last one sucked. I really like Star Wars. Uh, I... I don't like Return of the Jedi, but I like Revenge of the Sith. So, like, I'm in the same boat as everybody else, right? I have, like, three Star Wars movies that I think are pretty good. And I think that the potential, like, the, the world that has been built for them could be awesome if they make it work. I hope they do, because, like, at some point, I can't be excited about it if, like, six of the nine movies in the franchise totally suck. So, hopefully it's awesome. I mean, it looks intriguing. I'm not going to go see it opening weekend because I hate people, but... Um, I'll probably see it as long as, you know, it, people don't review it and go like, hey, it's the actually worst film of all time. Like, even if they, if they go, hey, it's pretty bad, I'll be like, okay. I probably won't go see that, and that'll just be disappointing. Cinematography looks great, though, I gotta say. Now, deal with the angel. We got bombs. Now's the time. Oh, it might work. Torn Photo was a good pickup as well. Lazarus Rags is basically meaningless for us, especially considering that we have, uh... Uh, we have, uh, nine lives already, but hey, now what we want is a deal with the devil right away so we can stack up as much fucking high-octane, high-damage nonsense as possible. And we have basically been bailed out of the run that I shitted on. I shat on this run, and the game has unshat it for me, and I appreciate that so much. I think I'm probably gonna be predisposed to like the new Star Wars movie more than some people, because I really like, uh, J.J. Abrams' Star Trek reboot. And I really like, uh... Into Darkness as well. I didn't like Into Darkness as much, but I was like, Into Darkness is pretty good. So, and, and, you know, I'm I'm a sucker for that sort of stuff, I guess. Plus, like, good sci-fi, man. We need some more good sci-fi. Side-fi. <laughs> that's, that's, like, not your main sci-fi, but when you get a little bit bored with your main sci-fi, you get some side-fi. That's like, you know, I can watch some Babylon 5 now and then. That doesn't make me a bad person. One day. We will find our item room here. And it's gonna be great! I'm just hoping, actually, at this point, it's like a speed upgrade. I would not re-roll a speed upgrade if it showed up. I wouldn't be, uh, you know, dancing in the streets, uh, Bruce Springsteen uh, style. Wish This is the point where I wish I had a great Springsteen impression. But I can only do, like, Jimmy Fallon's impression of, of Bruce Springsteen, which is not the same. It's like, stories from your friends back home. They never told something like that. That's that's Jimmy Fallon pretending to be Bruce Springsteen singing the America's Funniest Home Videos theme song. You might be a star tonight. Yeah, it's something like that. I can't, you know. Jimmy Fallon, you know, he's a lot of people hate him. They think he's goofy. I think he's an affable goof. I mean that with no disrespect. He's a silly guy. I, I think there's room for a silly guy on television. You know, a lot of people think he's a no talent hack. I think he. He gets some good stuff out of the people he interviews. You know, he's no Conan. At the same time, who is in this day and age? Well, except for the literal Conan. I'm waiting for an answer. Um, two of diamonds. Might as well pop it right now. Perthrow Rune still waiting on, like, another guppy item. Ooh, that's not it. Necropolis 1. I think we Perthrow it. Yeah, I'm very happy with the way that this worked out, actually. Even though that could have been awesome for us on the womb. Wow, I, I really thought he wouldn't commit to that. Um, even though that could have been awesome for us on the womb, this way we get to keep the ability to fly, and we got an item that gives us better deal chances, and it's not a bad item in and of itself either. We're not going to be able to make boss rush. That's, like, completely fine. I'm so happy that we at least are even in the running to, to complete this run positively. I can't believe this room worked out well for us. I wasn't even going to go to it. 
Um, there was like, oh, you know, we should try to get IV bag. I would give up the ability to fly for IV bag. Another Perthrow rune. Like, those have been showing up all the time. I'm very excited to hear that. Okay, this could be Mega Satan getting checked off the list for Samson. It's not like that's going to be super difficult to do in the future, but if we can do it now, why not do it now? One of these, probably should play it maybe, get a chance for like a uh, crystal ball or something. But no, I'd rather just have a half red heart instead. Much, much better use of our investment. Okay, down to the next floor. Get a little extra breeze going on in here. It is 31 degrees Celsius. Oh, not in Vancouver, but in... Uh, in this part of Vancouver, if you specifically mean my office. I guess I'm happy with the keys. I keep forgetting, like, we're going to the chest. So, yeah, I mean, I'm pro keys right now. I still would really like something that improved our base damage, though. I know we got, um, like, Torn Photo improves our DPS. And the Pantagram improves our damage. But it hasn't improved it, like, that much. Where when I go down, I'm, like, excited. Well, <laughs> Ladies, but no, I'm excited um, when I get to actually get some damage done to myself constructively But we're not really having the opportunity to do that too often here. Hanged Man is roughly meaningless um, Like we can't seem to, to Get a damage upgrade, but we've had enough Perthro runes to maybe give it a shot This guy's not gonna hook us up too much here, but I think we might as well take it. Don't really care about the card We've already donated as much as they'll let us donate here there's options, yeah, I mean, maybe we can tailor our run towards getting some more damage upgrades or something like that. Hopefully two kills, just the one. Disappointing, but we might as well at some point use these, uh, these pony charges. I haven't even sang Genuine's pony at all yet. I'm saying Jimmy Fallon pretending to be Bruce Springsteen, pretending to be, uh, you know, the whoever sang the America's Funniest Home Videos theme song. I don't even know, that's the true unsung hero there. That person got screwed, man. That's like a Verge, or sorry, Verve, Bittersweet Symphony situation. The Verge and the Verve are two different things. I always forget. Every time you go to the website, look, I'm not Richard, whatever his name is. Starts with an A. Not Richard Garfield. Not Lord British. One of these days, we'll find the boss fight. I feel like we've been kind of slogging along here. You know what it is? It's like my Isaac, um, like, timeline has been completely warped by dailies now. I find my There's positive things about dailies. I find myself doing a lot more due diligence. But at the same time, I also find myself being like, any run that takes over 20 minutes to get to boss rush is shit. <laughs> like, it's fucking garbage, man. But uh, that's not necessarily the case, you know. We gotta try to strike a healthier balance, and I'm conscious of that. I didn't, I barely even mentioned boss rush on this one. This is just a nice leisurely walk through the park, man. More sacks, more charges. We should probably be using charges, like, all the time. Fate's reward is okay. I don't really want to teleport into our item room. Even though it would save us a key. It's not, like, super important. Okay. Fate's reward plus head of the keeper is a very positive couple of rooms for us here. Judgment. Yeah. Not doing anything else with our money, might as well. Plus, we can generate, like, a lot more of it on the regular. Not HP, but I would take HP. Sure, yeah, I'm rotten meat. That's fine. Life goes on. So, Head of the Keeper. I've heard a lot of people say that this is among the best items in the game. I don't know. Maybe it's one that I'm... Ooh, this is a great opportunity for us. Maybe it's one of the items I've been sleeping on a little bit, but I don't think it's that good. I, I think it's, like... Well, let me put it this way. I think it's like an 8 out of 10 item. But I don't know if it's in the 10 out of 10 category like, uh, you know, something like Mom's Knife is or something like Epic Fetus. But I could be convinced, maybe. With piercing shots, it's certainly going to be, you know, quite the powerhouse. That would be great if it was just a Joker card. You know what? I'll take the damage and get a free second secret room. Well worth it. Two of spades. Well, nine keys. That's fine as well. Okay. Mom fights. I really wish, like... The pony active effect was better. It sounds rude. I wish it was better or it didn't exist. Because <laughs> right now I'm like, when am I going to use it? Like, I'm doing more damage with, with my other uh, abilities. What do I care about uh, using the pony's active effect? It's just distracting me. Wish we had like a single orbital as well, but it's going very well. We did get a deal with the devil. We can take the Polaroid. Yeah, I was just like, oh shit, can we take the Polaroid? 
Because <laughs> I gotta fight Mega Satan. But yeah, we can go to the chest and fight Mega Satan. Doesn't matter. I've trained myself to be like, are we going, like, don't fuck up. Don't take the Polaroid by accident. But no, we're fine. This was the right thing to do. Uh, we're almost uh, into our Guppy transformation as well. Wait, are we Guppy? No. Wait, why are we spawning so many flies? That's just Rodden Baby. Rodden Baby's bringing the heat, man. We also got uh, Dark Matter, which is a, a pretty sweet damage upgrade. Fistula stands uh, no chance here to piercing, like, greed headshots. Head of the keeper shots, if we're being technical. Uh, I'm thinking we got an okay chance of becoming, uh, at becoming the Gubster here. I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't, because it seems like it shows up a little bit less often in Afterbirth, but I still have, you know, less than 150 runs done between YouTube and streaming, so still pretty much in the early infancy of, like, statistically even coming close to understanding how runs are quote-unquote supposed to look. Was that sense, did that sense have any inherent meaning in it at all? <laughs> you know, we could fight Hush. Um, I don't necessarily want to, but I don't necessarily not want to if we... If we have enough keys and we're like totally sure we're gonna be fine, fine to the point where like our HP is gonna be close to max for the Mega Satan fight, it might be worth it. I love that Head of the Keeper plus Sack Boy actually spawns sacks when it hits an enemy. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes it spawns sacks. That's hugely valuable. Like Sack Boy is already absurdly overpowered, but don't don't nerf it. Don't nerf it, Tyrone. But it's already absurdly overpowered. As is maybe Head of the Keeper is really good. There we go. To then just have them both synergize together is, is awesome, but also, like, very, very strong. We'll open it. And I... Ah, uh, we should probably take it. Why not, right? Maybe that increases the chance of getting sack drops from our, uh, our normal pennies. So deal with the devil here. Just give me, like, any guppy item. I'm not, I'm not going to be picky. Any guppy item I would accept with open arms. Sorry, with arms wide open is what I mean to say. Didn't want to miss the possible Scott Stappism. Who seems to be doing okay now. So, I like, there was a time where I was like, oh, that's like really punching down. But he seems like he's getting back on his feet. He's getting a sense of humor about things. So, I think we can officially bring back occasional Scott Stapp jokes. You know, done in a tasteful context. We got regular old Steven here, which is uh, a nice synergy for pretty much everything we got going on here, including Rotten Baby. Battery charges. Oh, we got another rune. It's an Algae's rune, which is like, I mean, valuable for Mega Satan, but we'll see if we use our Perthrow rune here. If we find a chance to use Perthrow here, um, then it'll be good. So I believe if we don't leave the room, then Perthrow will re-roll the Fallen's item, if we don't like it, into another deal with the Devil item. If we do leave the room, it'll just re-roll it into other boss items. So I think we re-roll it now, get two Devil items. They're not my favorite Devil items, but Little Brimstone is still really good. Um, we'll head down to our next floor. I was really hoping, of course, for a Guppy item. Hey, shit happens sometimes. Sometimes uh, you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Should still be a nice damage upgrade. Especially if I can actually get a charge off as soon as I enter a room, because as soon as I move, like, we got... We got some problems, uh, like, lining it up. Lovers. Not worth it. Okay, he's charged. Enter the room. Fire at nothing. Success. So far, so good. I mean, we have, like, eight familiars. So it is, I mean, less than eight. But it is kind of hard to get lined up appropriately for, me or for a little brimstone here. I'd love to make it work. If it's just, like, occasionally, like, a tertiary benefit, I'm fine with that as well. Sackboy. You know, you're just giving me too many sacks at this point. I don't know what to do with it. I want an item with a short skirt and a lot of sacks. That was the, the worst cake reference ever, man. Okay. Oh, I got a little brim in the middle here. This is perfect. Great time for a Jimmy Eat World reference if I'd actually had the foresight to make a reference instead of instead just making the reference about the reference. That's like second order tertiary laziness here. I don't know why I'm saying tertiary so much. Maybe I just finished ninth grade geography. Uh, we do have a deal with the devil. It's not a guppy item. It's razor blade, which I guess synergizes with um, bloody lust, but not enough to be excited about. I don't think I'm going to do hush. I'd rather have algas. The gods might as well just use. Um, I think we'd rather have algies. I think we're gonna get this done. I would be amazed if we didn't get this done. Let's put it that way. Curse of the Lost is relatively meaningless. We don't have any mapping anyway. 
Turns out that we, the right decision may have actually been to stick with uh, Child's Leash. I wouldn't have expected it, but sometimes uh, the truth is stranger than fiction. Another Will Ferrell movie. He's getting referenced nonstop today. No, I'm Dog Butabi. He's Steve Butabi. You guys are brothers? No. Yes! How's Chris Kattan? I hope Chris Kattan's okay. Look, he may not have been the most successful comedy actor of all time, but he did give us Corky Romano and Monkey Bone, so I can't finish that with a straight face. I also can't finish Monkey Bone with a straight face or Corky Romano at all. That was probably some of the worst damage I've ever taken. Getting a little lazy. Let's get less lazy. I, I find that less lazy is better. I'll take the keys. We're unlikely to need them, but we'll take them anyway. What I would really like on the next floor, let's be, it's been a long time since I've had the opportunity to actually like prognosticate about what we could possibly get from the chest because I haven't really been going to the chest. It would be very nice for us to pick up uh, an orbital so that I can use Algiz effectively and then just anything that gives us higher damage. That's it, man. That's all I want. Uh, we want Algiz, not strength, although strength is, you know, fine. There we go. Just get him afraid. If we can get him afraid and get little brimstone on him, we're golden. Most enemies will not be uh, that easy, but some of them clearly are. Probably should take that eternal heart because there's no reason not to. This ended up being a pretty good Samson run. For a while there, it looked like it was shit. Probably pretty much 100% my own fault, but uh, we, we've pulled ourselves out of it. Made some cl uh, Yeah, no, we're fine to use that here because we we're not. we going to take Algus down to the next floor for sure. We got uh, some clutch Jimmy Fallon references. I said my piece about Ben Stiller. He's been in some shitty movies, but man, he also wrote Tropic Thunder. Come on. I'm not saying it's the best comedy of all time. I'm just saying it's, it's pretty good. It was unexpectedly good. I remember seeing the trailers because, you know, I'm ancient. I was an adult in 2008. Um, and uh, that was being I was being facetious there, by the way. But I was an adult. I was a real adult, not a facetious adult. Although I did, I was quite facetious a lot. But um, And I was like, this movie looks like shit. Ben Stiller's a hack. He's a has-been. And then it came out, and I was like, this is actually really funny. And also Robert Downey Jr. is hilarious. Now, if you could just, uh, there we go, fantastic. How many dead ends exist on this floor? It's a freaking 300 page paper. The active effect for the pony is not gonna save me too much time here. We'll use both of them against uh, Isaac though, cause you know, why not? Thanks for the live bomb. Easy, easy, okay, look at that, what a, what a productive start. Okay, get little Brimstone lined up. I don't know if he's lined up there. He looks semi-lined up. With Algiz and seven HP, can we win this? Like, I, I would really hate for this to become the classic Northern Lion, get to Mega Satan and then take seven hits and die. Like, that would be very disappointing as someone who has felt like this run has been pretty good for quite some time and is really, quite frankly, sick of doing this Angel Room nonsense to get uh, the Mega Satan pickups. But, we'll see. Death card is a lot worse than uh, the Algiz rune for us right now. We should be 100% fine, it shouldn't even be close, but Mom's Knife would help out a lot. Okay, we've unlocked the door. Number two, seems dangerous, luck up seems worthless. Tech one. Two of these items feel like they could completely ruin the run. But I'm gonna take tech one in the hopes that I'm that I'm wrong. And we'll pop Algiz, I guess, if things get dire. Like we got a good rate of fire. Now we have unlimited range, so I can just sit back here. Um I guess I was hoping to get some cooler synergies, but now that I think about it, where were we expecting those to come from? Oh, we got we got cards. <laughs> Two of Hearts, that's like, okay. Empress is a huge card. Two of Hearts is very useful later. And the Lovers, it's not bad, man. That was a really good haul. Mind you, we are doing like no damage right now. However, we do have Bloody Lust. So we'll eventually do damage. More than this, hopefully. Ooh. 
I think we should hold two of hearts. This seems scary. Also, when Fates Reward shoots, it does occasionally drop sacks. Because of the, like, the greed head that we had going on, so. Or Keeper, keeper Keeper's Tears. Head of the Keeper, there we go. Greed head, head of the Keeper. It's very similar. Um, so we may be able to generate even more consumables than it was otherwise considered plausible. We are getting the sweet bloody lust bonus now. I prefer to not be taking damage, but if we're gonna kind of float into victory here, I'll take it however I can get it, basically. Stars card, don't fucking touch it. We really should be killing enemies faster than that. Like, it's a little embarrassing. I think technology was an awful pickup for us here. Even though it, it, on paper, shouldn't affect our DPS, I think. We already had piercing shots. Would have been better off just sticking with Head of the Keeper, I think. This guy's, like, very confused about things. There should be no way we lose now. With, with the Two of Hearts and the fact that we get stronger as the run goes on, we can create consumables from nothing. We should be sitting pretty, more or less, but... You know, I've I've had runs that have gone completely south before and just been, you know, been left kind of in awe. So I think here we probably pop two of hearts. Let me get our Algiz rune. If I end up taking the Star's card and kicking myself out, I'm going to be very unhappy with myself. Okay, we made the leap there. We're almost on the Angel statues. We have full health. We have a nice damage bonus. We still have an Algiz rune awaiting us. Again, it, it should be getting increasingly less likely that we lose. Has that actually been the case? Well, I don't know. I certainly hope so, though. Oh, we got a free sack here. Don't shoot your little brimstone laser that is actually enormous. I use it as a diminutive term. We'll pop our Algiz rune, get charged up, and this should be the end of this one and the end of having to force Mega Satan runs. Now we can go back to just doing it when it feels right. There's probably a, a, there's a double entendre in there somewhere. Like masturbation, doing it when it feels right. Doing it when it feels right, the math is game story. <laughs> Seriously though, we did just get an achievement. Revenge baby, that is a sweet looking baby. And also rage baby. Raise your rage babies in chat, if you're there. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.